Hi, I'm Jordan Rhodes. Welcome to Norwich City Central. What's going on everyone? Norwich City Central here, back for another video. It finished Brentford 1, Norwich City 1, just outside the train station now. And my overall, overall thoughts are, I thought Norwich was one of Norwich's worst performance in the last couple of months. But Norwich still showed their class and able to get a draw. And for me, that's a sign of a good team when you, when you, when you don't play very well, but you manage to grind out a draw. And we could have even won the game as well. Dennis Shubreni having a golden chance at the end. Um, let's start with the first half performance. So before, please leave me your thoughts down below in the comments description. And yeah, that first half performance was very bad. We just kept losing the ball. I thought the first five, ten minutes we started well. But um, I think once Ma uh, Marco Stupidman went off, who's been excellent this season, I think we lost um, creativity. Um, we, 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 we were very poor on the ball, Tom Tribal came on and I don't think he had the greatest first half, neither did Tetty. Um, we did look sloppy and Brentford deserved to score and <laughs> funnily enough it was a set piece goal for all their dominance on the ball. It was actually a set piece which did us in and that was a really disappointing aspect of Norwich City's game because we can see too many goals from set pieces. You look at the two goals against Derby and now today, it's something Norwich City need to avoid as well because it's a really simple header from seven, eight yards out. Um, yeah, so it's a really poor first half performance for Norwich City. But second half, we grew into the game and looked a lot better. Um, I, I still think the first 45th to 60th minute, we didn't really create too many chances. Um, Mario Rancic had a free kick, but apart from that, we didn't, we didn't do too well. But then we started to grow into the game and we were a lot better in, in that like, last 30 minute spell of the second half. And did Norwich City deserve the goal? Possibly, I think a draw is a fair, a fair result, but... It was it wasn't it was it was definitely not a vintage performance by Norwich City, um, yeah. And Tim Closer with, with an 80th minute goal. And Norwich City could have won the game as well with Dennis Shrebrenny, Timmy Pukki, Jordan Rose, and Dennis Shrebrenny all on the pitch at the same time. Farker loves bringing those three on. Um, and what, wow, what a golden chance for Dennis Shrebrenny! It pulls pulled back to him 18 yards out, and he just completely snatches it and it goes wide. But no, Norwich City, it's, it's a good point, it is a good point, but it definitely is an opportunity miss because Leeds, West Brom didn't win when we played Derby and they haven't won today. Leeds lost 4-2 to uh, Nottingham Forest, West Brom lost 2-1 away at Blackburn, somewhere Norwich won, somewhere Norwich won at Forest as well and Sheffield United have closed in the gap as well by winning 3-0. So it was an opportunity miss today, but at least we managed to get a point and we, we show our class by key coming back get, at, at the end of games. We definitely need to start the first half better, but second half... We are a second half team, aren't we? Let's face it. And it was a brilliant, brilliant comeback from Norwich. Um, you know, to, to get a point because at times, at times we were so sloppy, we didn't look like we was going to get anything from the game. Uh, my man, in the match without a doubt, was Tim Crow. I thought he was excellent. Made two critical saves. Uh, one when he was one 0 down, I think, in about the 50th minute. And then, as, as we made it one one, um, they, they went on the counter attack, and Tim Crow makes an unbelievable save. And the Brentford fans uh, thought it was in. Um, but fortunately enough for Norwich City to come away with a point and now it's just about building on and kicking on. We've got a huge game against West Brom in two weeks' time. But Norwich City have handled the festive calendar well. I would have probably liked to have seen us make some changes because I did think at times we are quite tired and sloppy. But no, we've handled the Christmas period well, I guess. Obviously, not an ideal result at home, particularly against Forest and um, Derby. But Norwich City is still in a good position. And as I said, Tim Crow had an excellent performance. Um, besides that, I'm struggling. Max Aaron's... Didn't have to, his, his form's dropped, but he's been immense this season. I think Tim Closer did have a good game at the back. Um, I know Nel Hernandez, as um, Aidan said, Aiden says in the fan cam, was kind of our only real creative outlet. But no, Brentford won, Norwich City won. A decent point, but definitely an opportunity missed. And a quite a poor performance for Norwich. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.